MFA updates. Good morning, สวัสดีค่ะ and welcome to MFA Update, a weekly program that focuses on Thailand's international affairs and activities. I am Kimmy or Kim p a n i k n i s a g r a i r o g your host. Today we will talking about the 45th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic relations between Thailand and Vietnam. So His Excellency n i k o n d e t Palangun, the Thai ambassador to Vietnam, will inform us for more detail. The foreign affairs that matter. Special guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA updates. So good morning, Xin Zhao. I have to say Xin Zhao, right? His Excellency. Xin Zhao, yeah, Xin Zhao. So how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, let me ask you first question about the 45th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic relations between Thailand and Vietnam. Um, in this occasion, so what are the highlights of commemorative activities organized or will be hosted in the upcoming period of 2021? Yes, this year commemorates marks the commemoration of uh, the 45th anniversary, as you rightly said. Yeah. However, I, I proposed um, to the Vietnamese side, and it's been agreed that we 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 you, we are marking this year as a first year towards uh, the 50th anniversary, whereby we will be having activities along with uh, five coming years towards um, the 50th anniversary. So it, this is a milestone whereby we will have um, a series of activities commemorating. Um, 45th anniversary and um, commemorate uh, every year towards the 50th anniversary as well. So um, this year, the embassy initially planned to organize the commemorative events on the exact day of our commemoration, which is the 6th of August, uh-huh. um, in collaboration with the Ministry of Culture, Sport, and Tourism of Vietnam and the Ministry of Culture of, Viet- of Thailand. You know, due to the COVID-19 um, pandemic, the event has to be has to be postponed. So currently, uh, the situation has been stable and mm-hmm. is um, uh, slowly coming back to normal in most parts of Vietnam. Therefore, the embassy hopes to be able to organize the event during the remaining period of the year. We have marked um, uh, the last week of November. Leading to our national day on the 5th of um, December as a commemorative week um, for the time being. Um, we of course have to wait and see how the situation of COVID unfolds. And um, however, I, I see that it's an opportunity that we have to adapt to the new normal. We have also been very in very close contact with uh, the Vietnamese embassy in Thailand mm-hmm. in Bangkok, as well as. Um, Many relevant uh, Vietnamese agencies in organizing series of um, events, social, economic, and cultural events, um, all along 2021. Um, I'll give you uh, examples of, of, of what activities we've, okay. we've got uh, done. So we have organized series of talks and seminar on political, social, economic topics. Seminar on on topics that are interesting for both sides. Events that we have um, came up with, uh, such as prospects for investment in Vietnam, which was organized in March. Seminar on the occasion of the 45th anniversary of Thailand-Vietnam diplomatic relations mm-hmm. in August. It was 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 very well received, and um, we had a um, number of participants. Was over 800. All in all, we know the embassy will is planning to hold a lot of activities to bring the Vietnamese and Thai people closer together by using social media platforms. So, what are the priorities for Thailand in enhancing the strength and strategic partnership with Vietnam? The embassy and and me as ambassador, I I I 
I tend to look at the strength and strategic partnership and give importance to to all dimensions, be it political, economic, cultural, and people-to-people relations. Mm-hmm. We will have um, several um, meetings between our ministers and leader, like the Joint Commission for Bilateral Cooperation, which is called, in short, the JCBC. Mm-hmm. Uh, they will meet um, in October online. We'll have a joint trade committee between the Ministry of Commerce. Uh, we'll also be preparing for the joint cabinet retreat or the JCR, uh, which hopefully uh, the Thai Prime Minister General Prayut will uh, visit uh, Vietnam uh, because Vietnam Vietnam's going to be host of, 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 of this meeting um, towards the end of the year, maybe in, in December or um, if situation doesn't allow, maybe in January next year. Um, on the economic side, um, uh, the embassy plans to enhance economic cooperation between the two countries by adhering to two major principles that Thailand has always championed, the sufficiency economy philosophy yeah. through development in many projects and and in many provinces in Vietnam. Uh-huh. And the uh, following years to come is the BCG, bio, circular and green economy. These two principles, I hope, will help build resilience and sustainable growth. So, Ambassador, could you please update us on the current situation in Vietnam and the measures in the prevention and control uh, in the COVID-19 pandemic? So we've learned more about the news that this is the first time that Vietnam's GDP has sharply decreased due to the current wave. So what steps has the Vietnamese government taken in support of foreign businesses? Please. Mm -hmm. Yes. um, The Vietnamese government, as you must have heard on the news report, they they are taking um, Uh COVID-19 pandemic very seriously. Number of people vaccinated is around 35 percent. Mm-hmm. Um, fully vaccinated people amounts to about 10.3 percent, which is about 10.11 million people. And and there are ma- major cities, you know, where, where there's a lot of investment um, in foreign um, firms um, established, like Wang Ning. Um, the distribution rate is at 88, 87%, something like that, and Bin Suyang is at 85%, 86%. So they're, they're just speeding up their vaccination, um, which uh, is something I, 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 I'm optimistic. I, I think um, the Vietnamese government is, is doing well on that front. And of course, um, the government has issued a lot of uh, preventive measures in major cities um, like Hanoi and, and Ho Chi Minh City. Um, the GDP, for instance, uh, of Vietnam, the third quarter of 2021 this year, um, is that it's quite it's quite high. It's, uh, it stands at 6.17 mm-hmm. percent, uh, which is which is uh, phenomenal. You know, um, if you compare it to to other other countries um, facing COVID, while exports um, continue to be economic growth, you know, drivers at 5%. You know, all this has been a little bit hampered by the isolation measures in, in ma- mainly in southern Vietnam. The economic growth forecast um, uh, is has been lowered, though, uh, because of the, the latest outbreak. The, the Prime Minister um, has announced um, lately that uh, strategy policy for zero COVID um, will be changed to safe and flexible adaptation and effective control of COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and that's how the country uh, will be returning to normalcy. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. I I also would like to to touch a little bit on, on a meeting that was held uh, uh, between Prime Minister of Vietnam and the foreign Business Association um, mm-hmm. on the 25th of September. Okay. Uh, the Prime Minister of Vietnam has organized this online meeting between between uh, the Prime Minister's office 
uh, the NPI, Ministry of Planning and Investment, to concern from the foreign businesses, you know, um, and to listen to um, the business performances, the difficulties, the challenges, mm -hmm. as well as the proposal um, on urgent matters and as well as what, what the business sector has to recommend. I heard recommendations um, are very, you know, uh, from different from different business association, but you know they are more or less in the same direction, which is they want a clear roadmap for reopening of um, and recovery of the of the country. Um, how they they would like to have a clearer picture of how the country wide and inter regional coordination will will look like. Um, about um, they were concerned about how the vaccine distribution will be so that um, you know business can can resume mm -hmm. you know with a view to resume their operations and manufacturing also that I heard that was um, in uh, in the minds of everyone was uh, when would the tourism uh, industry will be reopened for instance mm -hmm. so this is this is um, an example that I just want to highlight so you see how proactive the, the Vietnamese government has been vis-a-vis -vis the, the, the business sector, the private sector, the investors. Okay, so may I seek the investors' views on how Vietnam and Thailand can emerge from the COVID-19 pandemic stronger together for shortly, please? Okay, um, let me sum this up into three uh, three uh, category. How I see um, uh -huh. how can we emerge from COVID nineteen stronger on the people side. You know, I I am very uh, thankful that the Vietnamese government has been taking care of the Thai nationals and businesses during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, vaccination has progressed. Uh, it is vital for our recovery. Secondly, on business. Um, I think the resumption of operation is critical to create jobs and enable economic growth. Um, in doing this, we have to integrate and adopt technology innovation to assist um, our business operation. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, um, on society, uh, I, I do see the need that the society embrace technology and innovation in the new normal. We have to live and learn to live safely uh, while effectively controlling um, the COVID-19 through three main factors, which is creativity, innovation, adaptation. I think that uh, these are the key, uh, three key factors. I give you an example that uh, last week I have organized um, a seminar between uh, the local to local community, mm -hmm. uh, which is the, how Phuket, I have linked Phuket and Quang Ning to, together uh, in a seminar whereby uh, Phuket sandbox um, experience has been has been shown to Quang Ning. Quang Ning, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a city, uh, a province where Ha Long Bay is situated. Yeah. So they, they can exchange um, experience, learn and grow together. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's my intention. That's the intention of the embassy. So I think these kind of, of exercise will revive the economy and the tourism. I am confident, it is really my conviction, that Thailand and Vietnam will emerge from the pandemic stronger together. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much and hope to see you again, maybe yeah, in yeah, Hanoi. Yeah, likewise, <laughs> likewise, yes, I, I look forward to welcoming you. Thank you. Okay, please stay safe and bye for now. สวัสดีค่ะ. Thank you. สวัสดีครับ. Bye bye. The Foreign Affairs That Matter. Special guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA updates. And that was the Thai ambassador to Vietnam, His Excellency Mr. Nikon Det Palangkun, discussing the 45th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic relations between Thailand and Vietnam. So, don't forget to follow the YouTube channel MFA Thailand and Facebook page FM88 Radio Thailand English and Radio Thailand World Service Facebook page also for more updates. 
Time to say goodbye. I'm Kimmy or Kim. Panik ni sa Gray Rug. So see you again until next time. สวัสดีค่ะ